Okay, so a few weeks ago I finished a video game I had been working on for a little bit. Uh, so basically I wanted to learn the Godot game engine, so I decided to create something I already knew I could create. So I did a sequel slash remake of a game I made five or six years ago called Space Attack. Originally I used the uh, Phaser game engine to create that in JavaScript. Uh, and so it's kind of basically the same game, a little different, uh, but since I finished that, I started working on a new project. And the project I've been working on, I call uh, Cyber Griffin. And what it is, is it's a 2D side-scrolling Doom-style game, uh, which is something I've wanted to do for a while. And I've been very happy. Again, it's still early in the works, uh, but I'm going to show you some of it right now, the gameplay I have so far, some of the functionality I have. It, um, again, I wanted to really focus on the programming of this. You know, I'm writing all the software from scratch, um, but so I didn't want to have to worry about making the music, making the sounds, making the, the textures and the sprites and all that. So I'm, luckily there's the Free Doom project. Some of you may be familiar with this. So just quick history on that. Original Doom is open under a GPL license. It has been for over 20 years now. Uh, but for about 20 years now, uh, there's been another project called Free Doom because even though the source code for the original Doom is open source, all the graphics, all the assets, the sounds, the sprites, the levels, the music, all that sort of stuff is still under copyright and it's, it's, so it's not free like the software is. The Free Doom project, their goal is to replace all that so you can play Doom fully free. And luckily that allows me to use all those assets. So I've taken that and I've used all their, you know, some of their textures, their sprites, their sounds. I've taken their MIDI files for their music soundtracks, ran those through LMS to render them out to AUG because Godot apparently doesn't play MIDI files unless you use some sort of roundabout plugin, which is weird because you would think that would be something that a game engine would have. Anyway, I want to show you what I've been working on, what I have so far. I'm trying to make it a lot like the original Doom, but again in a 2D side scrolling, but also with my own little uh, things added to it. So let's go ahead and let me load it up here. So the menu I actually just worked on today. Uh, we have gameplay, we can switch through these. Also again, I'm using the Godot engine, so it will run on pretty much all platforms, all major platforms, Linux, Windows. Um, iOS, uh, although you need keys to generate that, um, Windows or Linux 32-bit, 64-bit, and even Mac OS, which I, I don't have anything to test that out on. Uh, so this does work with a touch screen. When you, uh, the menus work with a touch screen, if you go into the game, it brings up a touch screen controls, which I can show you a little bit of later on, and it runs great on my phone so far. Uh, it also uses a gamepad, so you can use a gamepad to do it, or the keyboard. Real quick, we'll go to the about, which brings up the copyright information that the, the uh, um, you're using this under the GPL 3. Uh, there's a link to my website, the source code for the game, and then you can go up here to see information about the Free Doom project, their credits, their website. You can go to, we'll go back, we'll go back, and then we'll go into the game. You can actually see what it's like, uh, and I'll talk about it while we're doing it. So, Gary, and this is just a test level, so it just has everything in it. Um, something I recently added is a little face at the bottom, which does respond, act, and bleed as he gets uh, hurt. I can pick up the shotgun up to the top right. It gives me information on messages on stuff I've picked up, or like if I walk over to this door, it's going to say that I need the blue key. I might change all this HUD information on the left, maybe put someplace different, or maybe not. We'll see. Uh, we have health. My current weapon is the plasma gun. You can see what guns I currently have. I can switch through the weapons by scrolling my mouse button on a touch screen. It's uh, two buttons at the top, left and right. On a gamepad, it's these left and right triggers to switch to them and you can shoot with the right trigger. Um, I also just recently added to where you can type in a weapon number. And if you pick a weapon that isn't there, it's just going to skip past it. So try to keep it very similar to Doom. So one is the pistol, which in Doom is actually your fist or chainsaw. Two is the shotgun. Three is the double barrel shotgun when you pick it up. Four would be the chain gun. Five would be the, the rocket launcher. And six will be the plasma gun. Again, this early stages, I might change the power of these weapons and the life of the enemies. We have platforms. Uh, jump, which you can't do in original Doom, but platform, you kind of need that. Picking up some rockets there. Uh, so yeah, I've been working on this for about three weeks, and a lot of that, 75% of that is rewriting stuff I've already written. So I get something working, then I think, oh, I can clean up the code, or I can write it better, or something I create creates a glitch or something um, that needs to be fixed. Um, so yeah, a lot of rewriting stuff, and a lot of that was also trying to get the enemies not to be too stupid. 
um, and before they were just running into walls at, like crazy. They still run into walls, but they eventually turn around now. I just picked up the red key. You can see next to my face there what keys I have. Picked up the soul sphere, which gives you uh, 100 uh, more life uh, health points. Just picked up the chain gun. Mega sphere gives you 200. Now teleporters. Teleporter is something I did a little bit different than original Doom. So original Doom, uh, you have teleporters, obviously. Thing I changed, something I wish that you could do in Doom is, uh, so things like the shotgun and pistol don't do this, but things that send big projectiles like rocket launcher and plasma gun, if you shoot, shoot, it will actually teleport them to where you're doing. So that can become in handy in gameplay. It also allows you to teleport. Talk more about the teleporters in a minute. Um, <laughs> I want to get down here. There we go. Uh, so I just picked up armor, chose down there, then I picked up the red armor, which gives you 200. There's also green armor that gives you 100. I got the uh, red key, so I'm going here now. I got the rocket launcher. The armor basically cuts your uh, damage in half. So if you get something that's going to hurt you with 10% damage, it only takes away 5 from your health and 5 from the armor. Got the blue key now, so I can go back to that blue door. Those are health packs there, but I'm already over 100%, so I can't pick them up. Got the rocket launcher blow these guys up. Those barrels, they do hurt you if you get close to them. The rocket launcher obviously hurts you. And one of the glitches in the game that I'm aware of that I may not be fixing anytime soon because I actually kind of like it um, is the doors when they're moving. If they get hit by something like a rocket launcher, they kind of get knocked out of the way. They always end up in the right spot, but you can hit them and they just kind of whoop. Uh, something, not, not a big concern of mine at this point. Got enemies here, so I'm shoot that guy. Rocket launcher pretty much kills everything. I go back up to the blue door now, because I have the blue key. So, look right here, this is a teleporter landing pad right here. There's the green armor, which I already have, the red armor, so I can't pick that up. And here's another landing pad. So something else I did different uh, is, we've got some lava here that does hurt you when you go into it. Um, so this teleporter, so a teleporter, just like in Doom, when you walk into a teleporter, it has an ID and it will teleport you to a matching, a corresponding teleporter with that ID. But if there's the teleport landing pads is what I call them, where you land, um, if you give it, if you have more than one with the same ID, it will choose them randomly. So if I go in here, it brought me all the way up back up here to the blue door. Next time I do it, it may bring me up there, it might bring me to that other teleporter below it. So I did that one twice. I'm keep on doing it until I get put to the other one. There we go, it's that time. So it's random. So you can have, you know, a hundred teleporters landing pads, so it brings you a different spot every time. Um, so again, the lava does hurt you. And here's the health pack I can pick up. Uh, I do have cheat codes, so IDDQD. Gives you God Mode, just like in Doom, you can see my face, the eyes are now glowing yellow. I do plan on adding a sphere for invincibility, just like in Doom, that uh, will invert the screen. I'm looking to doing that, so I just need to create that. I need the QD to turn that off. I do IDFA, which gives me all my weapons and ammo. I need KFA, uh, all weapons, ammos, and keys. So those are um, some cheat codes that are in Doom. So cheat codes I've created that are my own, I can type in ID fly, which puts you in the low gravity mode, so you can kind of, you just fall a lot slower. Type in ID fly again to turn that off. And if I do ID jump, I can now, gravity still works the same, but I can jump about three times as high as I normally do. ID jump to turn that off. Um, so I can pick up this suit, turns the green, the screen green, so you know that you have the radiation suit on, so you can walk in the lava without getting hurt. Uh, that lasts 30 seconds, and the last six seconds of it, you start flashing the green, so you know it's about to run out. You grab the yellow key, even though um, well, the yellow key didn't show up. So again, they're they're still early phases. So I just picked up the yellow key. It didn't show up in my key box there, but I also typed in the cheat code for all the keys and it doesn't show up there. That's something I need to fix, but that's the yellow door there. So I have the yellow key, even though it's showing, not showing up in my key box. Uh, so here we go. Uh, I can go up here. And again, this is where the sort of thing is. So I got all these bad guys up here above me, and that's the last room to get out of the level. If I go in there, they're gonna start slaughtering me, and that's where I can shoot rockets in there before I come through and kill them and get to the end level. 
little intermission screen uh, so I can have these whenever I want so right now I have it so the levels come in there's an array of scenes so you can adjust that array so you can move if you build a level and you decide you want it someplace else in the order you just change that array so you can put intermissions where you want uh, while it's typing if I shoot uh, it will finish all the words I shoot again it will go through after 30 seconds it will go through that's something I need to fix touch screen doesn't register that so you have to wait the full 30 seconds on the mobile device right now but will be fixed again uh, game controller works for that so yeah that's my test level oh one more thing I didn't show you uh, is the map so if I hit tab in original doom it gives you a 2d map or in 2d so what tab does in this game is basically zooms the camera out so you can play like this and you can see a lot more of what's going on here just further out so that's kind of my map mode right now uh, also, you'll notice uh, the face on the screen. In original Doom, he makes this shocked face when he gets hurt at, you know, really bad. My guy, every time he gets hit, he uh, makes that face. And, <laughs> and of course, if we die, I'm myself up here, I die, and the face blow. So, yeah, that's the game. Again, uh, eventually I'm going to have where you can, when you click exit, it's going to give some sort of message, just like original Doom does. I'll have an array of those. Uh, you, you edit it right in the Godot editor. Right here you can see this is what the touch screen controls look like on a mobile device. You have these arrows so it detects that you're on a touch screen device and it will show these. You'll have the arrows for moving, this for jumping, this for shooting. These buttons here are for switching your weapons. This is your map and this is to restart the level. If you're in the game and you need to restart the level, so if I come over here, if I hit that 5 it restarts the level so you can do that if you need to. Um, and yeah, and in the future I'll, I'll do some videos as I get further along about you know creating your own levels, but it's pretty simple. I mean, once you have stuff on the screen, you can just you know choose one. Like if I want another brow, I can hit Control D and that clone that. And once you do that, you have that. Uh, I also have in here a base map. This is a very basic map with a few things in it uh, to get you started. So basically, if I need to create a new level, I just clone this map and start dragging things around if I want to add a bad guy. So like right now there's one bad guy, just a uh, pistol guy on there. I come down here, try to put things in categories just to keep them easy, uh, easy to find. But I'll go in here to enemies and I will hit um, uh, right click and say instance and then I can say enemy and I have different enemies. I can say creature, click that and now up in the top corner here it added one of these creatures and I can put them right there. And just to see what this little looks like, I'll hit F6. As you can see, there's that creature. So yeah, that's that's how you would create levels. And everything's the same. So like doors, I have one door here. I can take that and control D it so I can clone it, I can put it somewhere else, and there it is. Uh, these frames here right now, if you do zero, one, two, those are three different ways the doors look. They don't show up in the editor. I might redesign that, but that's not priority. It also crashes, I think, if you pick one that is outside of that range. Uh, and then you can choose none or if you want it to be activated by a key. So I can say red key. Now, oh, not F5, but F6. That door is there. If I walk up to it, it says you need the red key. Luckily, I can jump over it because there's no ceiling above it. And you have different layers for like the core. I can come in here and say, okay, I want to add one of these here and one of these here and put one there. And that's the core that you can walk through it. There's no collision on that. Oops, again, I want F6 for this map. Got teleported over here. And that's it. So I'm very excited about how this is turning out. I hope you guys like it. Again, just like uh, the last game I made, I'm hoping to um, eventually maybe get it in the Android Play Store, get it on FDroid, and uh, hopefully in the Debian repositories. I'm trying to learn and go through that process with the game I just finished. And hopefully eventually I'll be able to do that here. It'd be so awesome to have my game in the Debian repositories. If anyone's familiar, I've never done that before. I'd love any advice. I've read over the documentation. I know I need to get a sponsor, all that sort of stuff. I'm on the mailing list for the game team, uh, but haven't actually stepped forward into that. I've created dev files. I'm not sure if I, you know, they work. I don't know if they're 100% accurate, but hopefully I'll be able to get that stuff in there. But I hope you guys check this out. There will be a link in the description. It's all up on GitHub. You can download the project right now. Again, I, you can compile it for all different platforms. iOS, you need security keys. I don't plan on never putting this in the App Store for iPhone because one it's GPL, which supposedly is not compatible with their agreements. So you can't put GPL licensed stuff, I guess, in the iStore, whatever they call it, the App Store. 
Uh, also, uh, there's the issue of having to buy a key for them to go through that process because if you have an iPhone or an iPad, the only way uh, normally to get stuff on that device is through their store, and I really don't care for that. Uh, but anyway, else, if you want to grab this and <laughs> try to get in there, that's fine with me. It's again all GPL and free. Um, and again, in the future, I hope to, you know, I'm doing this right now, but maybe in the future I'll create my own graphics and sounds, and I'm going to use this as a base for a lot of games, uh, hopefully in the future. So, let me know what you think. Uh, also, be compiling it eventually for HTML, and I'll put it up on the website so you can play it right in the web browser, but of course you can always just download the uh, dev packages or the binaries for uh, whatever your operating system is uh, from GitHub once I compile them. So check that out. Again, links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.